I'm gonna be doing my June haul, so everything that I've bought so far in the month of June. So let's start with what I'm wearing on my eyes. This is the Violet Voss Flamingo Eyeshadow Palette, and I also got the Glamingo Face Palette. This is actually, I thought this was a highlighter palette for some reason, but it's actually a face palette that has bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. So I was really excited to find that out. I did film a first impression on this, pretty much this look. I have a different lip color, but pretty much this look, and that'll be live. Probably already is. When I sort of unboxed this, I realized that it had these other products, and I didn't know that it was going to have blushes and bronzers as well as highlighters, so I was really happy to find that. Honestly, I really think that that's super cool. So, But yeah, I purchased these. These caught my eye in immediately. When I first saw the teaser for this eyeshadow palette in particular, Violet Voss is one of those brands. I own the Rainbow palette, but that's the only thing I own from the brand. And it's one of those brands that I've always wanted to try, and I feel like I've always been just waiting for that right release, you know? The hashtag palette was almost it. I almost bought the hashtag palette, but when I saw it in stores, the colors were just a little bit too muted, not what I quite was expecting. So I didn't buy the hashtag palette and I just continued to wait for that perfect palette and then they started releasing like sneak peeks of this one and I finally saw the full thing on Trend Mood and I was like, that's the one. In person it's even more beautiful than the pictures. Like I knew it was coming in the mail and I knew I was going to film a look and I was trying to think of like what kind of looks I could do and it wasn't until I actually saw the palette that I realized all the possibilities. They're literally endless. Like I want to do three looks with this palette for sure because it's just, there's so much potential and I love that it's not, well this isn't a review so I'm not going to get, I just, that's, that's what went through my head when I was buying this. It has a huge mirror which is awesome and then I actually bought the bundle. The bundle I bought came with the eyeshadow palette this face palette and a beach towel, which is over there. I thought it was cool because the bundle price was, I believe it was $90, and it was basically what you would pay if you bought both of these together, but they had a special deal going on. It was like a pre-sale because I don't think this has been released yet. You get the towel basically for free, so I totally, I bought the bundle, of course, I fell for it, and I'm not, I'm not regretting it so far. I think these are gonna be so fun for summer. Okay, moving on. I've tried to film this video several times today and I just haven't had a lot of luck so I'm just kind of like pushing through it this time like even if it's kind of if I look kind of crazy or whatever I'm just gonna keep going okay so let's talk about some drugstore stuff I picked up two of these wet n wild palettes I picked up the one with the bright blue shade I don't remember what it's called now but I loved that one I was really impressed not only with the blue itself was okay but all of the other colors the mattes were way better than they were and they're like older formulation and the shimmers were really really pretty too so I just felt like I really had to get these. So I haven't even opened these yet but the one I have is Nude Awakening and Comfort Zone. Nude Awakening used to be a, I think it was 10 or 12 pan palette but it was like a long palette with like the shadows are all in a row. Wet n Wild used to have a palette like that called Nude Awakening and then of course Comfort Zone was a 8 pan palette and they reformulated all their stuff. In the last it's been I don't know, has it been a year now? It's been at least like six months since they've done this. But I'm just finally getting around to getting these, so I picked those up. I picked up two liquid lipsticks from e.l.f. kind of on a whim. I really did like the one I have, and I wanted some new shades. So the shades I got are Wine Tour. I'll swatch here. The applicator is really interesting. It's got a hole in it. There is Wine Tour, and this one is called Praline. Ooh. I got two eyeliners that just kind of caught my eye. They were by Rimmel. I don't even know if these are new or not, but these are the Wonder Ombre Holographic Effect Eyeliner, and they're double-ended eyeliners. I have a purple one and a green one, and the darker end has like the darkened version of the color, so it's like a blackened green and a blackened purple, and I actually did have this on my waterline today. It was okay. I didn't really see the green, but I have a lot of other green on my lower lash line, so that could have overpowered it. And then the other end here is almost like a holographic, maybe more like an iridescent version of the color, but it's like white with a green shift, white with a purple shift, but it's so pretty. It's like a cream highlighter. And when I swatched these, I was so impressed. So I'm still figuring out how they work on my eye, but it just was something that was intrigued me. I've never seen a product quite like this at the drugstore, so I wanted to try them out. So here's the purple one. Again, it's really like a blackened purple, and here is the light version. So it's not like a white at all. It's like a a highlight. I don't know how to describe that, but and here's the green highlighted color in the black and green. 
Sinful Colors came out with some makeup recently and I had no idea this was coming. I don't even know when it released. I like Sinful Colors nail polishes a lot. I've done reviews on like, they did the Candy Johnson collection. I'm pretty sure I bought all of those. They had actually several Candy Johnson releases and they also had um, their matte polishes. I think it was last spring they came out with a bunch of like pastel colors and matte. I love matte nail polish. So I really do enjoy Sinful Colors for the price. It's like one or two dollars per polish. I think it's a really good price. So when I saw their makeup at CVS, I got really intrigued. Unfortunately, it was more on the expensive side. In my opinion, I expected it to be like one or two dollars for a product because that's what the nail polish is. These were more like six or seven dollars a product, which still is not bad, I know but I wanted to buy it all and I didn't let myself just because of that price point. So, so I picked up two eyeliners and these are called the Stop and Stare Gel Eyeliner. I have the shade Intense, which is this darker purple, and the shade Provocative, which is a bright blue. I will swatch these. I guess I was just like in the eyeliner mood recently. I don't know. And this one is a little bit more purple than the blackened purple of the Rimmel one. So these will be fun to try. It was really like bright, a, a lot of bright colorful makeup that I noticed they were releasing. They also released this lipstick and I don't know what's the official name. It doesn't, it doesn't have one, but it's clear on the top. The color is persuasive and it is a dark blue, like a midnight sky color. And I do have to build it up quite a bit to get that color and it, it's kind of blackish. It'll probably, I don't know how it'll look on. I think you can see that blue sheen. I don't know. It's pretty. I wanted to try it. They look very interesting. And then what I think is going to be the product that I'm the most excited about is this Shady Babe Cream Eyeshadow Duo. Now I have seen ones like these from other brands. I think it was Revlon, was it, that had a duo like this? And then I've also seen nail polish. I think it was Revlon because I think Revlon had eyeshadows and nail polishes that were duos. Let me see. Do I have them in here? Yep, I found it. This one. Okay, so I forgot, but this one is a Revlon. It's like the same exact packaging. Literally plastic, like same exact packaging. This one is by Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Eye Art, but this is a cream eyeshadow on one side and a glitter on the other side. So that's that's not what we're talking about, but it reminded me of that. But I really like the, sh the colors in these, so I'm trying to figure out what they're called. So there's the word hypnotic, which I think is the green one, and then dazzling, which is, it says silver. So... I mean, these colors look so pretty. Let me swatch these for you. Here's swatches of those. I don't know why, but I'm always drawn to cream eyeshadows. I feel like the colors are just so vibrant and fun, and they're just... I have a lot of cream eyeshadows. I should do a video on it. I have a lot, but... So there's swatches of those. Really, really pretty. Cannot wait to play with these. So that's cool. Have you guys seen the new Sinful Colors makeup in the drugstore? Because I didn't know it was even a thing. I got some stuff from ColourPop. I'm sure nobody's surprised. I got the No Filter Foundation. I love ColourPop. If they're gonna have a new product release that's as exciting as a foundation, you know I'm gonna hop on board that. I got three shades. I got 115, 120, and 135. I just wanted to make sure I got my right shade. They were $12 a peach, which is a peach, a piece, which is not cheap for a drugstore foundation, but it's not expensive for a foundation in general. Do you know what I mean? So I went ahead and got three different shades and they're all working out okay. I did film this look. I am wearing this today and this look will be live soon. If it is already, I'll link it so that you can see how this foundation performs. Um, it's not going to be on my top five favorite foundations, let me just say that. And then I also bought a few more things from ColourPop, just because that's what you do when you make a ColourPop order, you know? I got one of their new No Filter Sheer Pressed Powders. This is in the shade Medium Dark. You can see that's been used a lot already. Enjoying this a lot. I thought it was interesting that they released two different powders at the same time. But of course I'm going to be all over that because I love powder. I mean, <laughs> what don't I love? So I also got the No Filter Setting Powder. This is their Loose Powder. This is the shade Banana and I also got Translucent. I'm not sure where it is at this moment, but I do have it somewhere. It's probably still in the box because I just was so excited for the Banana one, which is actually extremely yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but again, I used this in that video. So you can check out that video to see it in action. I don't have my full thoughts on these two yet. I pretty much tell you my full thoughts on this in the video. This one I'm still not sure about and I do definitely tell you my full thoughts on the foundation. I got one ultra glossy lip in the shade Flying Horses. This is so pretty. I love this lip gloss so much. I really wanted to try one and I just picked this color because it looked like a nice wearable everyday shade that would mix with a lot of lip colors. It does have a brush applicator 
and I also was curious about it because of that because I didn't realize at first but the older lip glosses have doe foot applicators this one had a brush so I wanted to try that and that's why I got this one really enjoying this color I don't know if I'm gonna buy a bunch more because I feel like this color is just perfect for me like I don't need other colors because I can mix this with most nudes and get the uh, achieve the look that I want so I don't feel like I'm gonna need to buy a bunch more colors but I might just keep buying this one. <laughs> I really do like it. And then they had their deal going on where if you spent a certain amount you got a free palette or you could also choose to get a free foundation brush. I mean it was the foundation brush came with buying the foundation but you couldn't use them both at the same time. So I chose the palette. I look back and I'm like I should have just done two purchases and been really smart about it but I wasn't but that's okay. So <laughs> um, but I did actually buy a foundation brush too. Where's that? I forgot, I bought this one. This is the F17 foundation brush. So this is, I think this is the bigger one. They have two different sizes of brushes like this, but it's actually a lot thicker and um, it's not super dense. It's just a more, more to it than I expected. And I'm enjoying it. Back to this. So this is the Make Up Your Mind palette, the one that people voted on, I guess, what shades were in it. I don't know, I wasn't a part of that, but it looks super fun. I haven't been loving the newest ColourPop eyeshadow palettes that much, like the Perception one. Meh. and then the other nude ones and birthday ones I just that didn't interest me so when I saw this one and I was like yeah I can get behind that I can do stuff with this one so I'm finding a lot of inspiration from this and I was really excited to get it so the last thing that I have to share is the lemonade palette yay I was so excited this actually came in the mail today <sighs> so excited between this one the flamingo eyeshadow palette and the Alamar cosmetics Reina del Caribe, I have all the summer eyeshadow looks I need. Like, I have endless summer possibilities. I mean, you really just need one of these to get the summer looks, but I have them all and I'm happy. I'm so happy. So, there she is. She's so beautiful. The first thing that I thought when I opened this was that this lemon soda shade is so much more yellow than I thought it was going to be. I'll show you guys some swatches because I did swatch it today, of course. Haven't used it yet, cannot wait to try. I just I just am so excited for this one. But again, this is another one. Even before the Violet Voss one, when I saw I think it was these two, but they were like crumbled up and she showed us a picture of them and I just was I knew I was gonna buy this palette. I was like I had FOMO for the latte palette, so I bought it. Um and that's when I, I knew I wanted to buy this one too. I love the color selection. I love these darker shades. Some people were saying, you know, you don't always need a darker shade to put in the crease. Like, why, do, why does everyone feel they have to do that? But I like it because I feel like it's going to add depth to the looks that you can create. Whereas if you just had these lighter pastel shades, you'd be very limited. And, you know, you could do a lot of summer looks, but maybe this will help. These shades will help a transition into fall and to just be more wearable, more day to night appropriate. I don't know. I was just so excited. I think it's going to be so fun to play with. With. So yeah, I cannot wait. When I ordered this palette, I did actually order two. So one will be going in a summer giveaway that I'm going to be doing hopefully within the next week or two. Okay guys, I think that's everything I bought in the month of June. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really do truly appreciate it and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.